a new group of boys, but boys nonetheless, here on Euclid are spending the week with me. It's later than I like to leave to go to the property, but wind, which were there last week, then disappeared for two days and then showed up again today on the weather report. Ah! So, we're going to go check on the transplants, make sure they've all been okay. Considering a little chipmunk nibbled the little vines, very first day. That I thought I had hidden because, you know, he caved in his cave again when I made the, when I put the pot over his hole. I try to give him a cave and make it safe. At least one of them is enjoying the yard. I'm gardening or making gardens. Is it too hot for you right now? You like that, huh? I know as soon as I can get what was destroyed by the wind put back up again, you can have that whole space. Walls and everything are coming. Aren't you excited? I can tell. He was like, yes, please. We need better accommodations at this place. Gee, seriously. And then there's the true campers. Yeah. Where's that carrot? Where's that carrot, Euclid? Where's your carrot? Let's go find it. Where's the other toy? Okay, you can bring that with you. Where's your other toy? Huh? I don't see it where you had it. Whoop, there it is. I found it. I found it. Look. Which one do you want? Huh? Let's see if he'll drop the ball to get the carrot. You want the carrot, Heo? You want it? ball dropped. <laughs> Let's see if he'll drop the carrot. He's like, nope, I'm hanging on to my carrot. <laughs> now if you turn it the other way, it fits your mouth better. Oh, did you make it squeak? Did you make it squeak? Yes. Get that carrot. I know, they're more fun when they squeak. You ready? You ready? You got, you want to play tug of war? Okay. But eventually you got to let go. There, I let you win. I let you win. Uh-huh. I let you win. <gasps> you ready? Ha <laughs> ha. You ready? Go get it. So. And he's off. What, you gonna bring it back? Are you gonna bring it back so I can throw it? No? You just wanna squeak it? Okay. Euclid's one of those adorable pups that, you know, he's like, yeah, you can play with me or I can entertain myself either way. <gasps> you make me wish my wolfie. Yes, you do. You make me miss my Woofy. This was his favorite game. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Stinker. And he was just your size. Totable. Yeah. Okay. Will you enjoy your carrot? Oh, 
I heard squeaking coming out of the tent. Euclid! Where's your toy? Where's your toy go? I heard you squeak it. I thought I heard you squeak it. Where's your toy? Huh? Where's your toy? Where'd it go? Oh, it is still over there. Okay, I don't know what that squeak was then. Something coming loose in there, probably. Okay. See, Heo? It's even nicer over here. And you have carpet squares. I know, they're not the same as the green grass. But it is cooler over here. Now I'm about to bring your water back over here. Okay? I had to do some fence adjusting to make sure little dogs couldn't get through. Which required tree trunks. You know. Because there's still no solid walls. I gave them some of my water because I was too lazy to go to the car and get theirs. Okay. Are you done? Is it safe to move it now? There you go, Heo. There you go. See, now everything you could possibly need is over here. Shade, a breeze, water. I'm heading to the car to get their jugs because I only have two more of these out here. And even with the nice cool breeze, I think I'm going to need both of them. I'm going to go back out in the sun until I can't take it anymore. First, I'm going to drink the rest of this water and fill it back up again. See, that much to evaporate out of me while I'm in the sun. I have 30 more minutes till the wind stops. According to the report I read when I left Bailey this morning. Now, I don't have internet out here, so I'm not going to get accurate information at this point. I just have to trust. But look what I've already done to myself. Yep. Old lady bruise. Don't know if that showed up or not. So I've decided at 2.30 something, I'm going to take my first break from carb loading on potato salad. And if that doesn't give me the right kind of energy, I brought protein too. Even dairy and nuts. I brought yogurt with mixed fruit and nuts. So I'm prepared for whatever energy I need.
then it would be nice to have a camera I can see through. Well, that's my last one. So that's enough to get me home. So I gave away my hydration. It could have let me stay here another couple of hours. Meanwhile, they didn't even empty it. Yeah. <laughs> but it was my laziness, so I suffered the consequence for it. Could have walked to the car and gotten their jug. Everything would have been fine. There still would have been a jug left over. However, it also did not stop blowing the gusty, blowy wind that was supposed to end at three. So once again, those brilliant brains with all of their super tech. Yes, I need to make mulch. Ah, that's how I make mulch. Anyway, all their little technical equipment, etc. They couldn't get it right. Link system. Oh, no, I don't. Seriously. Who designed this nonsense? So, we're headed home at 6 p.m. Sun is out for at least another two hours that I don't want to drive home with nothing to drink. So, I'm going home. And I will be better prepared with hydration tomorrow. Today, I really wasn't sure even when the boys would get here. So, I was all packed up this morning, but then like at seven, they still weren't there, so put everything back in the refrigerator and then they showed up at 9 and we were leaving at 10 which is actually when I'd like to be leaving here well actually I'd just like to stay the night I'd love to put up my glamping tent and just stay the night but until I can get things rearranged up in the day camp area. I'm not sure where to even put it. I'm wanting to keep it inside the fence. Ooh, one more tent inside the fence. Less play, less playroom, more shade. 6.55 and I'm on the home stretch. I did work today. I just could have done more. This is the time of day when the deer pop out of the shadows. suddenly jumps out in front of me. I will be able to avoid killing it. 